That's crazy. Daytona is vicious. Man, that don't sound good. Shit. That y'all hit like shit. How many years that? Probably. It, you know, ain't no telling. I don't know why I can tell by looking at the front of it. That don't hit. Damn, this motherfucker. Uh... Yeah, the stop, start. Oh, okay. So we in this Ford F 150 Sport and we see all these damn vets. Look at these joints. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. The whole crew up. Where the other ones at? Oh, there you go. Them Johns hitting, man. That's what they gonna all trade all them Johns in for a C8? <laughs> they probably going to the Chevy dealer, y'all. So I'm about to go through there and see what's popping. They going no. We got C5s, the C7. Yeah, they going to that uh, Chevy dealership over there. All them Jones wet. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got some merch in the mail today. New merch. We're going to open this up. I've been waiting for this T-shirt. See how it's going to come out, man. See if these joints, see if they worth, worth ordering. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Little Hemi Muscle logo. Okay. That's not bad. What y'all think, man? Little Hemi Muscle logo. These t-shirts are available, man. I'm gonna put it on so y'all can see it when, uh, when I got it on. I'm not gonna wear it this time, but since I'm already about to leave out. But there you go, one of the new t-shirts. Okay, I'm feeling that. Leave your comments, man, what y'all think? I know y'all can't really see it, but um, yeah, man. So go ahead and cop your merch. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So as you see, man, we got the new merch in and I know I haven't been uploading, man. I've been super busy um, trying to get ready for Christmas and just ripping around with my boys, man. Really haven't had time to upload like I want to, but you know, I've got a few things going on. So I wanted to make a video, give you guys a quick update uh, about, quick update on what's going on with the channel. Damn, I'm strong. Sound loud as a mother today for some reason. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Ready to go. <laughs> but anyway, man, today's video, my car is in desperate need of an oil change. And the problem is, I don't have the time to go get it. And I got a whole bunch of running around to do. So, I don't have a choice but to drive my car, man, until tomorrow when I go and get the oil change. And I know a lot of people panic when the oil light come on, they act like the cars get ready to just fall apart. But I'm gonna show you guys that you could definitely drive your car with 1% oil life left. And let me show y'all. Now, it might be lower now. It was at 1%. It was at actually 2% yesterday. So let's see what it's, where it's at right now. 1%, bro. That's crazy. I ain't never driven my car at 1% oil. Like, that's ridiculous. And I know, I know y'all gonna beat me down about it. I know you are, but trust me. I've been super busy, man. I haven't even paid attention. And I seen the change engine oil light come on, but I just didn't pay no attention, bro. Like, I just been ripping and running. But anyway, at first I got super nervous. I don't think this thing is 100% accurate anyway. There's no way this thing can be 100% accurate. I think you get at least another few hundred miles before it gets to the point where your engine gonna lock up. So if you ever in a situation where you got 1%, 2%, 
I say within the next week, you should go and get your oil changed. Really, as soon as possible. Don't get me wrong, I understand you gotta have oil in your car, especially with these high-performance engines. I'm not a fool, but at the same time, I'm not gonna panic and run to one of these rinky-dink oil changing places and get my oil changed. And I'm not changing my own oil, I'm not doing it. It's too damn cold, and it don't cost that much to go take it to the dealership and get your oil changed, it just don't. It's not like it was back in the day. Now, if I had a Hellcat or something like that, then I probably wouldn't wait this long. I'll probably do it when it gets to like 10%, something like that. But I'm not gonna panic <laughs> like I was at first and I realized that, you know, it's not that big a deal. I don't think, I'm not now, I'm not gonna sit here and be driving a car super hard, but I am gonna. See, it's still poor. It's not like something wrong with the car just cause it got 1% oil like. But you definitely need to get to the dealership as soon as possible, man, because it could become a problem if you don't take care of it. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where your car, your oil life is real low, don't immediately panic. Just get to the dealership or get, or however you change your oil, just go ahead and get it done quick, fast, soon as possible, but don't do something crazy because you think your car is gonna just explode oil life is at 1% because I've been reading some comments on some of the Dodge forms and people just making un, just ridiculous statements about um, your oil life being low, man. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, nothing is, the car's not going to just fall apart. I don't think you got to worry about that. But I do think you should get to, you know, get to change your oil as soon as possible. I do think that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to drive around with your car on 1%. Because I, like I said, I usually get my oil changed at like 5 or 10%. And lately, I just ain't had the time to do it. I don't believe that whole deal about you got to get your oil changed at 3,000 miles and at 4,000 miles. I don't believe that. They put the damn changed oil light on these cars for a reason. I've been changing my oil since I've had this car when the car tells me to. When that damn change engine oil light comes on, that's when I take my car into the dealership. And most of the time, it comes on around 5%. And it's usually around 7,000, 7,500 miles when that light comes on. And my car does not have a Hemi tick. My engine has not locked up on me. I don't have any problems. They're going to scat. All the way over there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Don't see if we can zoom in on that John. Yeah. White John too. That John tight. Wonder what cuz going. He might be going back there to do a burnout. I'm going over there. I think he see me. <laughs> he might be going to do a video. See that John? And again, my car runs like new, bro. Like I literally haven't had any issues as far as transmission, engine, and I'm most surprised I don't have a Hemi tick because I hear about people complaining about that so much. And that was one of my worries when I bought this car is something going wrong with the transmission or the engine. So far, so good. So that's why I say if you buy a used RT or a used, you know, Hellcat, whatever it is, just try to do your research on the car and um, get a warranty and you shouldn't have any issues. I just wanted to make a quick video because again, I was reading some comments on this uh, Dodge form and I was reading all kinds of stuff. People saying your car's going to just shut down. Your engine is going to lock up. You should get your oil changed at 20%. I'm like, bro, like you can do that. Don't get me wrong. You can do that, but I just don't think it's necessary. Like. Your car will be fine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just don't panic and end up, you know, using some cheap oil or doing something ridiculous because you think your car is gonna, uh, it's gonna lock up on you. It's not, I'm living proof. I've been driving this car for about almost a week at, like I said, it was at 2%, now it's at 1% and it's Sunday and it was like that on Tuesday. So uh, I'm going tomorrow to get my oil changed and um, it'll be, that's a done deal. So I'm not even worried about it. But that's not all this video is about, man. There's a couple things going on with the car. 
Um, I have staggered wheels on my RT, so naturally the wheels are gonna wear out unevenly. My front tires are terrible. And it's because I cannot rotate my tires. So I just wanna let you guys know, if you ever thinking about going staggered with your wheels, you gotta consider the fact that your front tires are gonna wear out way before your rear tires, unless you're the type to do a bunch of burnouts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna show you guys my front tires, I'm gonna show you how they're wearing out. And also, I believe it's time for me to get front end alignment done, all that kind of stuff. Again, cause this car has, let's see what I got on here right now. I got 61,000 miles on my car now. So it's definitely time to have all that kind of stuff done. Probably need to get the 60,000 mile uh, maintenance service done on my car. Um, but the last time I took it in, all they did was change the oil. They said everything was good to go. Also, I apologize because of the lack of content. I feel like if I'm gonna order a new car, it's really no point in doing any more mods to this car. So since I'm kind of on the fence about what exactly I wanna do, I'm just kind of pumping my brakes as far as mods and all that kind of stuff. And also, I'm just finishing up moving. So I got a lot of stuff going on. So the content has kind of been lacking lately, but I guarantee it's gonna pick back up, especially to my new subscribers, man. I'm waiting to actually order the wide body scat pack or Hellcat. I have to actually go into the dealership, get a buyer's order, take it to my credit union and see what they approve me for. Um, only thing I'm concerned with is my debt to income ratio because I already got several cars on my credit report. I'm not rich, so that's out of my control at this point. So I may have to finagle some stuff around. It all depends on what the credit union tell me. So I try to keep it 100% with y'all. Try to be as transparent as possible, you know, through this whole process. Um, if they deny me, I will let you know. I'm not. I don't feel ashamed about that. I know I don't make $200,000 a year, so I can't have $200,000 uh, worth of debt and try to finance an $80,000 car. That's not gonna work. So if I gotta wait, I have to wait. Or if I have to go with the scat pack, which is a little cheaper, I don't think that's a bad deal. So we will see, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Stick with me again. The link to the merch is definitely gonna be in the description. I already put out a couple uh, new sweatshirts and stuff like that. I'm still working on the beanies. Leave your comments what you think about the merch. If it's something I need to do, something I need to change, you have an idea, shoot it to me, man. It's Hemi Muscle Family. Whatever you guys want to see, leave it in the comments. Uh, again, the new channel, I'm going to leave a link to that channel. So you guys go over there and subscribe to that channel. Um, me and Carlito are going to start doing the reviews um, and upload them to that channel. Uh, we got a few connections on some different cars that we're going to uh, review here soon. Um, they're talking about snow here in the next few days. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but a lot of good things coming, guys. Just stay tuned. I appreciate everybody, you know, all the new subscribers. Like I said, you know, the channel was growing. It's moving a little slow, but I guarantee you, once I get that wide body and I hit this road, start collaborating with some, some YouTubers and some other people I've already been communicating with, the channel's gonna take off. It's kind of difficult here, man, because we don't have a whole bunch of like Mopar uh, car clubs that's just, you know, that meet on a regular basis that's doing all kinds of, like I'm just not connected to those folks yet. I'm trying to get connected. I know a few people, um, but let me show y'all um, what I was talking about as far as my tires. Front tires right here. See the outside of these jumps, man. They, them jumps is definitely worn out, man. Cause in the rain, my front tire, my the front of my car definitely be uh, sliding around a little bit. And as you see, my rear tires are perfect, damn near like new. Still got all the tread. Like I say, I don't do a whole bunch of burnouts and stuff like that, so I'm not surprised my rear tires are still in good condition. Man, my car dirty as hell, man. I ain't have a chance to, to clean it up. But, uh, so, you know, if you're going with staggered wheels, man, just understand you probably want to get your extra set of front tires. And if you do a bunch of burnouts, you're going to need rear tires as well. But this one's not too bad. Some of it could be just needing a front end alignment because I haven't had one since I bought the car. Um, it's not, it doesn't seem to be pulling 
you know, to a certain side at this point. But you can definitely see those tires are starting to wear. Well, this tire is worse than that one. The driver's side one is definitely, the tread is definitely wearing on the outside. And that's, like I said, it could be more so a um, alignment deal. But at the same time, the tires haven't been rotated since I bought these new tires and rims. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to do a quick video, man, fill you guys in, let you know what's going on with the car, with the new channel, uh, the merch. Um, I gotta get my oil changed. Uh, don't panic if your oil light comes on, man. You got a little bit of time to uh, get your oil changed. And I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody knows about this. I mean, this ain't, if you're a car person, you know about the importance of your oil. So, uh, but I was just shocked when I saw some of the comments uh, on the, in the Dodge room. So if this is your first time joining my channel, man, hit that like button, subscribe, man. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.